What's up guys, Sean from SRKCycles.com We have a 2009 Honda Shadow 750 Aero Before we get going Let's talk about the words of wisdom John 14, 23 If anyone loves me, he will keep my word Put that right there It'll stay there forever If you ever wondered How do I know what, what year these bikes are There's a little trick Honda says right there on the side Bam, 2009 all right, guys, I'm pumped to ride this thing. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool-looking bike. We're going to go jump on the highway. I want to see if this thing, uh, how this thing does on the highway. See if it's big enough for a man. I just walked in the shop, and I was like, hey, I got a great idea for a video. Is the Honda Shadow 750 big enough for a man on the highway riding double with a man on the back? Caleb was not into it. So, his loss. Forget him. Great bike for those entry level riders. And also mid level riders, you know what I mean? For guys who they, they rode a bike a couple years ago and they're like, I want to get back into it. I want to get something light that I could definitely handle. They know that the newer bikes run a little bigger displacement than the older bikes. These are really great bikes and you never see any, you never see them have, really have any real problems or any problem. Their shaft drive. In reality, what this what this bike really is, is just a mini little, and just this one because it's got bags on it. Just a mini little Road King. It's got the Y low. What do they call them? Horn, horn bars. Someone's gonna correct me on that one. Um, I really don't feel that bad on it. If, if this was like the first bike I've ever ridden or if I never sat on another bike then I'd be like oh yeah this is great this is comfortable because it is but because I'm used to riding bigger bikes but my, my legs are about I'm 6'2 my legs are about out of 45 you know what I mean very similar to what I am sitting on the ultras um, and my hands really aren't that different either it's just the size of the bike that I'm sitting on We're going to come up here, jump on the highway. Guys, if you, if, uh, I don't know when you're watching this video, but if you're watching this video fairly recently, we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. Hurricane in Texas just like destroyed Houston. We have a hurricane coming up the coast right now that's like they are evacuating a lot of Florida I've heard from different sources um, depending on how much of Florida depending on who you hear, who you hear but some some part and a lot of part of Florida is getting evacuated I mean it could be a it's just, it's just crazy these are like 500 year hurricanes you know the type of hurricanes you only see every 500 years and it's like we had two in the same week this is nuts there's going to be a lot of people out there that need a lot of help. I don't know how riding a motorcycle can help them, but maybe someone will figure out a way. But, like, there's some se it's, it's, it's serious stuff. I mean, we all kind of got to band together and do what we can. You know, it's a very small population that's getting affected. So if the majority of the population chips in in a small way I mean we could do a lot like that's you know we don't all have to quit our jobs so hopefully no one has to quit their jobs so I'll be honest with you I don't really like windshields I feel better without them alright so I'm going 
I'm going 50. I'm about to merge. And now I just went to... Okay, so I was going... Okay, so I still have a gear left. And I'm cruising at 60. No, 65. And then I got a whole nother gear left. And now I'm going to 5 over. That's okay. But I feel fine. The bike feels fine. I feel fine. We all feel fine. Everyone's fine. The guy next to me is fine. Now let's say and now I'm going a little bit, a little bit faster. Let's say I want to accelerate. Let's say some guy's doing something goofy, and I'm like, whoa, hold up. Yep, I got plenty of power. I mean, I was. All right, now I'm I need to slow it down. I mean, I still had plenty of gear left, plenty of power, no, no goofy vibrations or anything like that. If you live in a place where you're you, you're gonna be cruising like 75 on the highway for a long time you absolutely can do it on this bike it's got the power it's got the gear it's got the range that is not an issue and I, I know and the reason people think it might be is because when the average cruiser bike is like a 1500 cc and you're like well it's something I don't want a small bike At a certain point, and I hate that I'm saying this, but at a certain point, you don't need that much power. I do. You don't, but I do. Well, you don't need that much power just to get you to work. Well, I, I, I still do. But, well, I want it. Maybe I need it. I don't know. So, this bike will do it. It's got more than what you think it does. It's not fast, it's not like blowing your arms off or anything like that, but it's still, it still gets you, it gets you on the road, it gets you that feeling that you've been searching for your whole life, that you dream about. It's not pulling any like hard G's or anything like that. But if you're trying to cruise on the highway, at highway speeds, it has no problem. I mean, right now, I got one more. I had a whole other gear left. I'm keeping up with everybody else. Okay, the reason I don't like a windshield, that guy is going faster than me. He's not even on the highway. Where'd he go? There he is. So the reason I don't like windshields for bikes like this is because normally the top of my helmet would stick over it. And then I'm getting worse. My head's getting shaken around because you have all the wind that's coming right here. It's hitting the top of my head. And then I'm just getting shaken around and it gives me headaches real quick. So I'd rather just not have a windshield. And like a man, take that wind on my chest. It grows chest hair. That's the life I chose to live. Now, if the, if, if, 